It's hard to know what's real in cryptocurrency, especially when you're new. Coin Market Cap can make you feel like a kid in a candy store. You browse the selections and everything looks good. And in weeks like this, everything also looks extremely cheap and affordable. Today, we're going to be ignoring the giant front and center display and going to the back corners to find the coins that we believe are hard to find, but still have killer potential. So we look at the top five most undervalued coins in crypto. Let's get it. Bitswap is the hottest new way to trade tokens. Crawling all the top decentralized exchanges, Bitswap will get you the very best price and value for your trades. Bitswap is changing the game. Try it now at bitswapdex.com. Welcome to Bitboy Crypto, the largest crypto channel in all the interwebs. My name is Ben. Every day on this channel, I show you how to make money in cryptocurrency. If you like money and crypto, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, guys, if you want to know how we do deep coin research on this channel to find gems like we did today, then make sure to check out Token Metrics. This is our coin research side of choice that gives us deep dives involving machine learning, quant technology. To get a seven-day trial for less than five bucks, you can visit bitboycrypto.com slash deals and scroll down to the Token Metrics section. In this video, we're going to be looking at my top five undervalued altcoins right now. These are all coins outside of the top 100. Many of the coins today we looked at have been firmly inside the top 100 at different times, but have now fallen outside. These are all serious projects that you should definitely give a look. Crypto is cyclical. I tell you guys this all the time. So at different points, many of these projects have been hot crypto picks. For whatever reason, they cooled off a bit. Now, to set the qualifications here, all five of these coins can be found in the top 300 of all cryptocurrencies, but are outside of the top 100. So let's go ahead and kick it off. Number five, I have Super Farm. Now, this project is from my friend Elio Trades on YouTube, and it's an NFT platform that's going to revolutionize the game. I personally know all the work that's gone into this, and I've been following it since the beginning. This is actually the only project on our list today that's never been in the top 100. The reason being is that it's a new project that's only recently launched. In fact, their phase one platform launch just came out on March 31st. There are so many big things planned with this and big names attached to it that it's hard to see this one failing to become one of the top NFT platforms in the game. Phase two will include their beta platform launch. I can say that out of all the NFT platforms out there, Superfarm is the one we are going to be using the most to help other influencers, celebrities, and artists launch their NFTs. That should tell you something. So far, Anything they've launched is sold out immediately. Look for that to continue. Next, I have Unibright. UBT is coming in around the 170s on CMC right now and has seen much more glorious days and pumps. But the thing is, Unibright's got a lot going on still. I've said in the past that to summarize what Unibright is, it's basically the WordPress of blockchain. When Enterprise wants to move towards blockchain, the Unibright custom plug and play feature syncs traditional business data feeds with blockchain and Enterprise is definitely still buzzing about UBT. They've signed many Enterprise-level partnerships, including one with Coca-Cola. Their work with the baseline protocol has led to some extremely interesting outcomes. We discussed that many times over the summer, how any projects involved with the baseline protocol absolutely crushed it. But that was a different time when DeFi was hot, and it was basically all that was going in crypto. Now, though, it's looking like DeFi could be ready for another bang, so UBT could get some more benefits, if you know what I mean. Before the long term, their enterprise links are what is the most interesting to me. Ethereum has essentially become the go-to enterprise blockchain, and we see what that's done for ETH. Now, that's honestly one of the biggest factors behind why it will be difficult for any blockchain to catch Ethereum. UBT has similar potential to become the connector between business and blockchain. So make sure you're not sleeping on Unibride. Coming at number three, I've got Cartezi. Hovering around the top 200 spot, CTSI is one of our official partners. Now, you don't hear a ton about Cartezi from other sources, and that's honestly a good thing. This optimistic roll-up Layer 2 Ethereum solution project has made massive headway over the last year, and yet somehow people aren't talking about it. First became interested in CTSI back when it launched on the Binance Launchpad in April 2020. The requirements to get into the Binance Launchpad are extremely stringent. Now, let's take a look at some of the projects from the Binance Launchpad. Fetch AI, Seller, Polygon, BitTorrent, Elrond, Band Protocol, 
and more. These projects absolutely have killed the game. For CTSI, this is about way more than hype. In fact, I would say this team struggles to hype themselves up enough. That's why I'm basically the Flavor Flav of Cartesi. You have to understand what they are doing and its effect on the DeFi marketplace of Ethereum. These Layer 2 solutions are pivotal to lowering the costs of doing business on Ethereum. Now, keep in mind, E2.0 is not going to be ready for possibly two years still. And while yes, we can expect the EIP-1559 release in the London Hard Fork in July to heavily assist with gas fees and overall value for ETH, all the problems will be solved in the optimal manner until most likely 2023. Until then, Ethereum Layer 2 solutions got to do the grunt work. CTSI solves them better than most. It's definitely one we're heavily invested in and believe has tons of potential. At number two, I have Kyber Network. It's honestly pretty unbelievable that Kyber has fallen so far. Over the summer, this was a top 50 project that many people thought could break much higher. Basically, Kyber's a swap site. It was a DEX before people knew what DEXs were. In addition, they have a really cool widget that can be integrated in sites across the internet to make swaps happen on any website. Now, personally, I used Kyber many times during the DeFi run of the summer of 2020, had a lot of success making cheaper swaps in other places. But the fact that DEXs have become so mainstream has hurt Kyber in the short term. Why? Well, frankly, it has more competition now. But the good thing for KNC holders is that this project is more than just a swap site. It's a robust chain with many features other than just switching cryptos. They also feature decentralized payments and decentralized finance solutions, all taking place through the Kyber liquidity layer. Watch out for Kyber to get a renaissance. The number one top most undervalued altcoin, in my opinion, Span Protocol. This is a project that I can't believe is not in the top 100. Now, it did enter the top 50 in August of last year, but now it's fallen all the way down toward 130. Fan Protocol is what many people consider to be the number two blockchain oracle project behind Chainlink. Chainlink has been as high as the top five, but right now it's coming in around number 13. So let's do some moon math on that. The number two oracle project is 115 spots lower than the number one project. Now, what you may not understand about Oracle is that the companies who need these blockchain data feed connectors is that they will need multiple solutions. These will be contracts and partnerships that are not exclusive. Here's the point. Chainlink may rule the blockchain Oracle space. But they will not own it exclusively as much as we love Chainlink. Band Protocol is definitely a project with the potential to take up a good bit of the market share. Blockchain Oracles also seem to be the hottest when the rest of the market is not hot. It's been weird to track the progress of Chainlink against Bitcoin. It made its biggest gains when we were still in the bear market. Point is, these Oracle projects do best when the market's boring. Why? Well, because during these times, the projects with the best actual use case seem to rise to the top. In bull markets and parabolic seasons, hype and speculation rules. But ultimately, the best projects will win out. And the fact the band protocol is not in the top 50 is almost a crime. Now, for transparency, I do own some band protocol, as you guys saw in my portfolio a few weeks ago. But that's it for this video. Which one of these projects do you believe is the most criminally underrated? Also, drop in the comments down below on what you think is a gem outside the top 100 that I missed. That's all I got. Be blessed. Good boy out.